and the audiences that come to hear us, they, uh, most of them know what they're coming to hear. And our music covers, the, I think it covers the whole spectrum, even though it is somewhat uh, open in terms of its uh, creativity and open in terms of the improvisation. I still think we covered a lot of uh, ground. It's not just like the word when you said avant-garde, which could be anything. <laughs> but, but at the same time, I think we have an openness and a creative approach to what we do. I think it's so many sources because all of us compose and Andrew and Reggie have different uh, uh, people who have inspired them. For me, Duke Ellington and you know, uh, Eric Dolphy and John Coltrane and Miles Davis all have been big, uh, in, in, have been a part in my career in terms of inspiration. And I listen to everything. I like to draw uh, uh, ideas from rap, from from, from orchestras, from, again, I have composed for all these different elements as well, too. So I look at the entire spectrum to get creativity from, or to get ideas to be creative with. And I have several groups that kind of mirror my different interests, you know. I work with a string quartet, I work with a group with the Hammond B3 organ, I work with the saxophone quartet, four saxophones. I have a 16-piece big band. So I'm composing for all these different and getting inspiration from some of the people that I named and also just from living, I get inspiration to want to compose and create and keep developing. I don't play jazz. I make music. First of all, I'm not playing. I'm very serious. Okay? And uh, I attempt to make music and uh, don't call it jazz. Most of the people in the world use it as jazz, therefore we accept that name. But it's really the, it's our folk music. It's music of African American people. And uh, you call it jazz and it has no ethnic connotation. It has no historic connotation. Jazz doesn't mean anything. Well, you, you know, first of all, we believe in what we do and we know that it takes a lot of strength and, and a lot of health to, to accomplish it, to be here, to do it. And uh, of course, the Creator gives us some energy the people give us some energy, the universe gives us some energy, but we know that in order for you to accomplish something that is such a heavy feat in the world, that you must be clear, and even if you don't start out that way, which some of us didn't, uh, you must be clear, you must be a, uh, conscious of where you want to go with it, and work very hard at trying to make it, uh, and, try, and making it happen. <laughs> Okay. Well, I would imagine that a good percentage of the people who were here for the concert tonight go to a pop concert uh, as well. Uh, because you go to a pop concert and you get something out of that, it uh, doesn't mean that you shouldn't come to another type of concert. Uh, because you like Andy Warhol, it doesn't mean that you can't like Dolly. Uh, be, it, it's... Uh, it's uh, about uh, the mind and the evolution and what the person needs for that moment, what kind of image and message that person needs, what part of the brain that person needs to nurture in order to move on to the next thing. Well, you know, in the 60s and 70s, there was a lot more uh, effort to make the music happen. There was a much more conscious audience, a much bigger audience, there were more productions and more people doing things to, to make the music happen. 
And uh, when they begin to label it and begin to put it in little boxes and begin to turn people off from uh, understanding that the mind also dances, uh, then things begin to fall by the wayside. Everybody went to the disco and stopped listening. And the bodies and the spirit started in a trance. And the mind, the evolution of the mind, begin to subside. And when you have a bunch of, uh, when you have a Rip Van Winkle society, then you have people who can be led around by the Pied Piper without question. And that's what we've come to. That's what the world has come to now. And our effort is to try to make sure it just doesn't go that way. We do as much as we can to keep it from going that way. You know, and it's not just like the sound that's made on this planet, it's just the sound that's in the universe. And uh, we are supposedly the highest species, so we can tune into all that.